August 25th, King Louis the Ninth, King of France, Confessor, and Apostle of Charity. This remarkable man was born on the 25th of April in the year 1214 near Paris, France. When his grandfather, King Philip II of France, passed away, his son, Prince Louis the Lion, became King Louis VIII. His wife became Queen Blanche. Their son, now Prince Louis, was only nine years old. Three years later, Louis's father died, and the boy was crowned King Louis the Ninth. Because of his young age, the Queen Mother, Blanche, took over the reins of the government. A great woman in her own right, she made sure her son would be prepared for his life as king. Queen Blanche took her Catholic faith very seriously. She was rigid and determined in teaching her son the faith, and managed still to instill genuine piety and a deep sense of devotion in him. She was quoted as having told her son, I love you, my dear son, as much as any mother can love her child, but I would rather rather see you dead at my feet than that you should commit a mortal sin. At the age of 21, Louis took charge of the government. His mother's influence in his life was apparent because there was a force within Louis that made him strive to rule justly and to attain sanctity. King Louis had pronounced affinity for the sick and the poor of his kingdom. He treated the downtrodden with compassion, understanding, and humility that was unheard of in a king. Every day, King Louis the Ninth would have three special guests called in from among the poor to have dinner with him. Since there were always crowds of poor and hungry outside the palace, he would try to have as many of them fed as was possible. During Lent and Advent, anyone who presented themselves before him was given a meal, and often the king served them himself. Louis married his true love, Margaret. On May 27th in the year 1234, Queen Margaret was as filled with religious fervor as her husband was, and they truly made a beautiful couple while setting a fine example for all married couples. They both enjoyed each other's company and liked riding together, listening to music and reading. King Louis and Queen Margaret had eleven children. Louis was a strong-willed and strong-minded man with a powerful faith. His word was trusted throughout the kingdom, and his courage in taking action against wrongs was remarkable. Amazingly, this king had true respect for anyone with whom he had dealings, especially the poor and the downtrodden. King Louis built churches, libraries, hospitals, and orphanages. He treated both princes and commoners with equal respect. In the year 1248, King Louis took his army on the Seventh Crusade. He visited the holy places, and approaching Nazareth, he dismounted, knelt down, and prayed, then entered on foot. He visited the holy house at Nazareth, and on its wall was afterwards painted, and still visible when the house was miraculously translated to Loreto, a fresco depicting him offering his manacles to the mother of God. Wherever he was, at home with his many children, facing the infidel armies, in victory or in defeat, on a bed of sickness or as a captive in chains, King Louis showed himself ever the same, the first, the best, and the bravest of the Christian knights. Unfortunately, the crusade of 1248 proved to be a disaster, and the king was captured by the Moslems. After an absence of six years, he was successfully ransomed and returned home. After his beloved mother died in the year 1270, he sought redemption for his first failure and embarked on another crusade. However, it was summer in northern Africa, and dysentery and typhoid swept through the dirty camps. King Louis the Ninth died while lying on a bed of ashes, saying the name of the city he had not relieved, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. St. Louis wrote to his oldest son Philip, heir to the crown, I recommend to you before all else to apply yourself with all your heart to the love of God. Pope Boniface VIII proclaimed Louis a saint in the year 1297. He is the only king of France named a saint by the church. This man was a true gentleman as he tried to treat everyone with courtesy, love, respect, whilst remaining strong and just at the same time. He is most beloved in both France and across the Catholic world. As the Catholic model of a king and ruler. Let us ask King Louis the Ninth to help our leaders in this age to learn wisdom and to lead wisely.